I'm so sick, sick, sick and tired of working just to be retired. I don't want to get that far. I don't want your company car. Promotion. the enemy and they're coming home to a very special venue this is unmissable isn't it the enemy are celebrating the release of their third album by playing two gigs to the spectacular backdrop of the cathedral ruins let's catch up now with the band's drummer he's liam watts he's cardinal newman's secondary school's finest ever pupil uh, liam good evening to you how you doing michael you all right mate yeah i'm very well thank you and yourself yeah i'm good you good this will be exciting won't it different it will be, yeah, we've sort of, it's something we wanted to do for quite a while now, and as you can imagine, it's not the easiest gig to pull off, I mean, it's not the standard venue, but we're sort of really excited that it came together and we can't wait to play it now. You've got Coventry running through your veins, so whose idea was this? Was this a band decision? Well, we've been looking out for um, the venues, like I say, because in, in Coventry you've got some, you've got a lot of good sort of small clubs to play, and then the sort of next sort of music venues, you're talking... The Rico and stuff like that. So we were on, we had our eyes out for a, a sort of a venue that was maybe like around a thousand, fifteen hundred capacity. And um, our mate John Dawkins actually mentioned the cathedral, and we passed it on to management, and they they said it was sort of possible. So we just got the ball rolling. He was your first manager as well, wasn't he? Got something to do with your aunt that had, hadn't it? Uh, now I, I used to work for his mum actually, and then um, yeah, that's how we met him. <laughs> how uh, special is it that you you perform in Coventry? It's almost a way of I don't know putting something back to the people who got you going in the first place. Is it? Um, it kind of it, it, as much as anything else. We just love playing in Coventry. Do you know what I mean it's where we're from? It's it's sort of where we started. We used to play down the Hope and Anchor and stuff like that, and. It's just a great place to play. It's some of the best gigs we do, so it's as much for our enjoyment as we hope everyone else is. Tell me how it all started, Liam. Um, well, like I said, I worked for John Dawkins' mum and passed on a demo to John. He worked for a management company in London, and they took us on, and we started playing gigs, and record companies started to take the, the big trip from London to Coventry to come and watch us, and, yeah, they were interested. They signed us, and I think... From performing, we were sort of signed within six months and we were recording our first album. Yeah, was it a gradual thing or was the one moment that sort of made you think, hello, there's the breakthrough, if you like? Um, it didn't feel gradual, it, it felt pretty quick, to be honest. Cause like I say, from, we sort of formed in the February and then a few months later we were getting interest and we were playing gigs and stuff. So it did actually feel really quick. Yeah. Now you've played Galastonbury twice, you've opened the Godiva Festival, you've supported the Rolling Stones. You must have a Rolling Stones story. Um, not really, to be honest. It, it, it was a great sort of day being out to support them and stuff, but um, I don't know, they're, they're a huge band. It'd be nice to maybe get up to speak to them a bit more, but they're, they're busy guys, do you know what I mean? But we, we just enjoyed them, we were, we were grateful for the opportunity. And supporting Oasis as well. Tell me about this third album, it's uh, called Streets in the Sky, yes? Yeah, I mean, we've been working on it for a little while now, sort of after the second album we took a bit of time off and then started working on this one. Um, it's just a culmination of songs we've been working on for, for a little while and I don't know, we sort of, we, we genuinely feel like this is some of our best stuff yet. We're, we're so happy with it and we feel like we're in a really good place and we hope everyone else will feel the same when they hear it. Yeah, and you've got a good fan base. I know it's growing, but you've got a core of fans that uh, that will go out and buy this straight away, of course. Uh, you're building up quite a following, but a loyal following, aren't you? Yeah, I know it sounds cliche, but we do genuinely think we've, we've, we've got the best fans out there. It's like yeah. you, you come to our gigs and it's something special. I mean, it's not just uh, people just going along to just bop their head. There's people there who are sort of living and breathing everything we do, and we feel the same, and it's, it's great to have that sort of connection with people. 
Any particular difficulties in playing at the cathedral, in the cathedral ruins? Anything you're, you're not so sure about, or has everything been sorted out? A great backdrop, as we say, but it's different. Could something go wrong? Have you sorted out all the problems that could go wrong? Um, we've got a good deep from the case, so everything, everything is sort of our side taken care of. We've got our fingers crossed for uh, some nice weather, but um, apart from that, it's all really sort of looking good. It's the 21st and the 22nd of May, isn't it? Yep, we can't wait. No, neither can we, actually. Liam, thank you for joining us uh, this evening. Good luck with it. Cheers, mate. Thanks very much. OK, that's Liam Watts, the drummer from The Enemy. So, Streets in the Skies, their third album, that uh, will be released and they'll be playing at the Cathedral in the Ruins on the 21st and the 22nd of May uh, to celebrate with you. And I get the feeling there's nowhere they'd rather be. Uh, tickets on sale on the website. It's www.theenemyoneword.com and they went on sale yesterday and uh, I would imagine they'll go pretty quickly as well.